Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today we're going to be talking about how a Latverian character, Lucia von Bardis, could not only help introduce the country of Latveria into the MCU, but she could lay out the groundwork for Doctor Doom's official MCU appearance. But first, I'm giving away a copy of Marvel's Avengers, so if you want to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stay tuned till the end where I'll go into more details on all the giveaway stuff again there. Now let's get started. Disney's acquisition of Fox didn't just bring the X-Men, it also brought Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four, back under Marvel's control. And with them comes arguably the greatest villain in Marvel Comics, Doctor Doom. It's fine if Doctor Doom isn't your favorite villain, but he is mine. And there's three reasons why. First, Reed Richards has been portrayed as the smartest man in the Marvel Universe for much of Marvel's history, and Doom rivals his intelligence. A case can be made for both of them regarding which of them is actually smarter, but it doesn't really matter because Victor Von Doom is an extremely powerful sorcerer believed to be comparable in strength to Doctor Strange, who is the Sorcerer Supreme. And if that's not enough, here's another thing which actually proves how smart he really is. In Secret Wars, during the incursions, Doom was the only one that realized what was actually happening, which not even the Illuminati, comprised of the smartest characters in the Marvel Universe, Mr. Fantastic, Iron Man, Professor X, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Black Bolt, and Namor the Submariner could. And after killing hundreds of Molecule Men, he eventually took the power of over 1,000 Beyonders, becoming God Emperor Doom. But I'm still not finished. Doctor Doom hasn't always been a villain, and as you all know, Iron Man is my favorite Marvel hero, with Doom being my favorite villain. But after he became God Emperor Doom and took over the Marvel Multiverse in Secret Wars, his face was healed and his villainous tendencies were softened when reality was reconstructed. And with his new more positive outlook on the world, Doom felt it best to honor Iron Man's legacy and give the world another armored hero after Tony Stark died in Civil War II. But according to Jeremy Conrad over at the MCU Cosmic, Marvel Studios is planning to introduce Lucia Von Bardis to the MCU. In the comics, she's actually the successor to Doctor Doom after he was deposed as the ruler of Latveria, and she even used the Doctor Doom name for a while. But since we haven't been introduced to Doom in the MCU just yet, it's possible that Lucia Von Bardis could be used as a way to introduce Latveria, perhaps even making her its prime minister like in the comics, and she would then eventually be replaced by Doctor Doom. And this could sort of be like how Wakanda was set up way before Black Panther appeared in Captain America Civil War, and he later went on to play a large role in the MCU. But let me know what you guys think about all this, and how excited are you for Doctor Doom in the MCU? Now onto the giveaway details. We've gained 200 subscribers in the past two months, and I know that we can easily beat that. So for the 1000 subscriber giveaway, I'm gonna do something special. Whenever we hit 1000 subscribers, I'll choose a random winner and give away a copy of Marvel's Avengers. But there's a catch. If we get 1000 subscribers by August 1st, I'll instead give away a copy of Marvel's Avengers, the deluxe edition. I already gave away a baby group Funko Pop at the 500 subscriber mark. So if you're new to the channel or you wanna be entered to win a copy of Marvel's Avengers, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment on this video. And since it'll be truly random, the more videos you leave a comment on, the better chance you'll have to win. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.